Welcome to Legacy Chiller Systems. My name is Dwayne Ribley. This video is about the water-cooled refrigeration system. We're going to be going over a brief introduction into the refrigeration system of a water-cooled chiller. We're also going to be talking about the differences between an air and water-cooled chiller. Let's go over the water-cooled refrigeration system diagram. The first thing you're going to notice is it looks almost identical to a air-cooled chiller. The difference is, is where the heat is rejected to through the condensers. On an air-cooled chiller, the heat is rejected through fans out to the atmosphere. On a water-cooled chiller, the heat is rejected to a cooling tower or building water or some use geothermal. But before I get into that, I want to go over a quick review of a video that I did called The Process Water Side of a Chiller. In that video, it states that a piece of equipment will generate heat and that heat will be transferred over to the water or water glycol and that water or water glycol will come directly to the chiller evaporator which is this piece right here. The evaporator will transfer that heat from the process water side over to the refrigerant side using the second law of thermodynamics. Once that heat is transferred you will have your desired leaving water temperature back out to your process to cool your piece of equipment. Go take a look at that video and you'll get a little bit more in-depth explanation of that. Moving along to the refrigerant side of the water cool chiller. Once the heat's been transferred, at this state it's going to be a low pressure gas. That low pressure gas is going to go to the compressor. Now what a compressor does is it takes that low pressure gas and compresses it into a high pressure gas. When you compress that gas, there's going to be a, a lot of uh, gain in heat and your temperature is going to rise. That high pressure gas is going to leave the compressor and it's going to go to the water cooled condensers and that heat will be rejected to a cooling tower or building water or geothermal. Now how that works is the second law of thermodynamics. The temperature of that high pressure gas could be 200, uh, could be 210 degrees. The cooling tower or building water could be around 85, 105, or even 115 degrees. And the second law of thermodynamics will come into play because that cooling tower water is a lot colder than your high pressure gas, so the heat will go towards that. So once it leaves that water cooled condenser and the heat's been rejected, it's going to have a state change to a high pressure liquid. It's going to leave uh, the filter dryer and go through the sight glass and it's going to go to the uh, thermal expansion valve right here. And what happens in the thermal expansion valves is it comes from a high pressure liquid and it basically has a pressure drop to a low pressure liquid. And then it will go back to the chiller evaporator and that whole process will repeat. Go over. I want to go over a couple quick things about water-cooled chillers you might want to know. There is higher maintenance on the condenser side of a water-cooled chiller if you have a cooling tower. A cooling tower needs treatments and chemicals and there's the labor that goes into that and that cost will add over time. As I stated before, you need to have another water source for the heat to be rejected too. So these water-cooled chillers do not stand alone like an air-cooled chiller. Water cool chillers typically go indoors because you don't have to worry about the heat being rejected through the fans. So you could put these into more confined spaces like mechanical rooms. If you put it into a confined space, you want to make sure there's enough room around the chiller for maintenance. We recommend around three feet. There is more installation on a water cool chiller because there's the piping for the condenser side if you're piping it to the building water or a cooling tower. And water cooled chillers are smaller in size compared to an air cooled because you don't have the fans and the 